Hey everyone, what's going on? Rob from Captain Rob Games here, and today we're going to talk about something that has been discussed for probably the past two years, but we haven't seen a whole lot of movement on it from uh, Behavior, the developers behind Dead by Daylight. Should Dead by Daylight have a built-in voice chat or communication system or some kind of a ping system? This is the topic that I wanted to discuss today. Now, I think there actually is a legitimate debate here of whether or not it should be. I know for me personally, my instinctive reaction is yes. Yes, of course. Of course you should have a communication system. The game can't be balanced until you have a built-in communication system, right? Because you have solo queuers, you have full survive with friends who are using external communications, and you have a mixture in between. Now, how could you possibly balance a game where you have groups of four people who are all together and they're in communications externally and then you have solo cures who have to use their perk slots to get some of that same information. There's no way you can make that fair. And so you end up in a situation where you're either going to have survive with friends are going to be significantly too strong, solo cues are going to be significantly too weak, or you can balance killers somewhere in the middle where survive with friends are overtuned and solo queues are disadvantaged. Now, this kind of creates a lot of unfun situations where it feels like when you play solo queue, you're constantly getting 4K'd or 3K'd because you can't control your potato teammates, you can't talk to them, you can't give them info, and then you queue up with friends and the game feels pretty easy sometimes. When you run a four-man, most killers just don't really seem like that big of a problem, especially if you're intentionally queuing up with good players. So there's a lot of arguments for why voice communications should be in place, and I think everyone knows those. So now I kind of want to play devil's advocate here and talk about why maybe a voice communication system shouldn't be in play. Now, I think that with Survive with Friends, the advantage is not just in communications, and I think that people oftentimes uh, forget that. Yes, communication is disgustingly overpowered. It gives you access to basically a hundred extra perks across your team that you would not otherwise have. That is a massive advantage over solo players. That's absolutely true. But the key to Survive with Friends and why it's so powerful is because you get to pick your teammates. Now, yes, most Survive with Friends are mixtures of casuals, very good players, some kind of combination of the two, but you can take four very good players, put them all together, and then have that communication on top of it. That can be near impossible to beat in many situations if they are good enough survivors. The reason why solo queue is so rough, it's not just because you can't communicate, that is a huge factor, but the issue is because a lot of times you just can't choose good teammates. You'll end up with a very weak link who gets picked off and taken out of the match immediately, and you can't really do anything about that. Now, communications might not actually fix that. So there are additional disadvantages. And my concern is that, let's say we choose, we're going to balance Dead by Daylight. We're going to balance it. We're going to give solo queues communication systems, and we're going to give them a ping system, and then we're going to start balancing killers, we're going to buff killers to meet, basically, the communication survive with friends standard, to an attempt to balance the game. You're now in a situation where people may voluntarily choose to not use communications. Think about how many other games, Apex Legends, uh, Fortnite, Call of Duty, all of these other games that have built-in communication systems, very, very rarely will a random actually have a mic because they just want to play casually. They don't want to deal with that. And so you would have to basically adjust the tuning of killers and buff killers and make killers stronger in order to match the new everyone has communication system. The people who then opt out and choose not to then are at an even bigger disadvantage they are now. So solo queue would be even worse than it is now. So that's a concern. The other concern that I have is that Dead by Daylight is a game that tends to have quite a bit of toxicity. Post-game chats, kind of bad. I can only imagine how solo queues would turn out if you have a ping system and if you have voice comms where basically people can say whatever they want in the middle of a game. Like, that could get very bad. And that kind of furthers the notion. I suspect some people would just turn off voice chat because they don't want to deal with randoms. 
anyone who is streaming, like if I were streaming, I would probably have to turn off voice chat just because the amount of absurd offensive things. I mean, I have seen people drop all kinds of big no-no words in post-game chat. And I assume they do this every game and they just don't get banned. I don't know how many times they have to do that before they get banned. So I, I definitely do worry that with this community's just general level of toxicity, what a voice comm system would do. I truly believe most people would just opt out. So I, I really do think this is more of a, a debate than, than people think it is. I don't think it's as simple as just give us voice comps. It's what we need. I agree that for the sake of balancing the game, that's incredibly important. But the fact of the matter is, I, I think that it's not actually going to fix things and it might make solo queue even worse. So this is how I feel about it. These are just a uh, couple points that I've put together for and against. There's much more that could be uh, included in this discussion. So please let me know in the comment section what you think about the, uh, this topic. Should voice communications be in the game? Is it long overdue? Do you think on the flip side that should never be in place? We know enough about the Dead by Daylight community to say that voice chat is just a very, very bad idea. Tell me what you think, let me know, and as usual, if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit the uh, subscribe button. I'm a fairly new content creator, so everything helps at this point. I'm just trying to get my stuff out there, so help me if you like this kind of content. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy, we'll see you next time.